What's going on with you in this um, Bieber incident, man? Let us know. Look, here, here's the bottom line. I look at it this way. You got a kid, 19-year-old guy, man. I, and the only reason why I'm saying this is because I'm tired of y'all chasing me around, you know, bothering me, inconveniencing me with Justin Bieber questions. So, at the end of the day, he's 19 years old. He's speeding through a residential neighborhood. One of the things that we do as whatever you want to call us, celebrities or whatever, we want our peace of mind. We try to get behind gates so we can enjoy our families and enjoy our lifestyle. But you got a 19 year old kid, you know, feeling entitled, speeding up and down the highway. That's why all the neighbors is mad. Then you got him spitting on people in the neighborhood. You can't do that. That's not, that's not the way it's supposed to be. You got a bunch of handlers running around, you know, kissing so, your ass. So did you see him drive the car? Do you see him speed by you? Look, man, I know the difference between a black kid driving a car and a white kid driving a car. I got biracial kids, okay? okay so My you, girlfriend is white. I know the difference. So you followed him to, okay? to, to his I house? I know the difference. Did you follow him to his house? I got a chance to see him driving the car. Let's put it that way. He so was he, sitting. He was was sitting, he in the driver's seat or the passenger seat? He was sitting in the driver's seat. So if you that good that you're going to switch from the driver's seat to the passenger seat, and then the driver going to get in the passenger seat, and you're going to pull in the driveway, and he's going to get back in, the passenger seat just to ride into the garage with you, then something's wrong. Yeah, I mean, he said you was a liar, it. man. That's why I'm asking because yeah. they did find another person Look, man, the next following day hey. after that. One thing that he does not have to do is answer to me. He has to answer to the DA's office and not me. So at the bottom, at the end of the day, him and his handlers, his goons or whatever they are to him, his hitchman, they got to protect him. I don't have to protect him. He does nothing for me. I don't make no money off of him. So, at the end of the day, all I want him to do is protect my kids. Yes. I got a one-year-old and a three-year-old. He's 19. My kids have yet to get to be 19 years old. I'm down here in Orange County right now. You go a couple blocks up the road, five young kids was killed on Memorial Day, riding, speeding down the street, out of control, lose control, all five of them are dead. And the only thing we can say is sorry. Yeah. So, if he loses control at 19 years old, just really learning how to drive, and he lose control, and all we gonna be able to do is say, "Oh, I'm so sorry." Yeah, but he said, "Damn, he did. sorry, he didn't do what you he did." He said it wasn't him, though, okay. Keyshawn. He said uh, it wasn't him. No, it wasn't. He has to tell the DA that, not me. Yeah, he said it wasn't him. Thank you, man.